Hey everyone, my name is Meera. Welcome back to my channel. If you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, that is because today is Onam. It's an Indian festival celebrated by Care Lights. So a very happy Onam to all those who are celebrating it. I hope you had a grand Onam Sadhya. I just had so much food. I think I might have to skip dinner. Today I'm going to be filming the BookTube Real Talk tag which was created by Alisa. I'll be leaving a link to the original tag video in the description. So make sure to go watch her video as well. I feel like I've been on booktube long enough to have responses to these questions so I thought might as well film it plus a few of you seem to really enjoy watching tag videos so yeah okay so the first question is what's something nobody told you about booktube before you started your channel um nobody told me anything about booktube because I didn't know anyone personally who had their own booktube channel so me starting my own channel was a leap of faith and I'm super glad that I did it but if I had to pick one thing, I would say that nobody told me how good it feels to hear that you inspire someone to read. So when someone tells me that I inspire them to read a lot more or that they picked a book that I recommended and they too really enjoyed it, I get this immense feeling of happiness and I don't think anything beats that. Second, what is your opinion on typical booktube videos that is wrap up Stevia's hauls? I think that these formats are great because not only does it help you understand a booktuber's taste but they also cater to a large group of viewers. So these formats are really popular on booktube and they get a lot of views. Especially if you're a new booktuber and you want to establish yourself in the community, maybe you should make these kind of videos more frequently in the beginning because it'll help you get discovered. I don't film TBR videos usually because I rarely ever set a TBR for myself. I'm a mood reader. But I do enjoy filming wrap ups and hauls and I love watching other people's book hauls because God only knows I don't need any encouragement to buy more books. I do that all by myself. <laughs> but yeah, I'd like to know what kind of books people are buying and whether I would like to buy those books myself. The third one is what is an assumption you had about BookTube before you joined? Was it proven to be correct or not? Okay, this one, I did not realize how much work goes into filming vlogs. Good heavens. I used to think that reading vlogs are really easy to film and they are really entertaining. Now, the entertaining part is obviously proven to be correct because I have received such feedback. But they are so much work, it's not easy to film vlogs at all. At least I think so. For me, it takes a lot of effort to film a reading vlog as opposed to any other video where I'm just sitting down and speaking to you in one go. So yeah, filming reading vlogs is not as easy as the output makes it look like. Fourth, what is something you've done that has actually helped you grow your audience? Okay, so I think I spoke about this in another video, but I feel like engaging with my viewers has helped my channel grow more because I like to be able to communicate with them. If I'm filming a video, I want to know your opinion about what I'm saying. At the end of the day, people like to be acknowledged. So when someone leaves a comment under my video, I make it a point to respond to it. And I would like to believe that no matter how much my channel grows, I would still continue to do that. Because for me, it is important to let my viewers know that their opinions matter as well. One other thing I would say is that um, becoming confident myself is also something that has helped me grow my channel. Because when I'm confident, then the content I put across also reflects that. Being creative and experimenting with the kind of videos I make. Because I feel like more than the typical booktube videos, these creative ones are the videos that have made my channel more popular and have helped me connect with a lot of viewers. Fifth, what is a common mistake you see new booktubers making or one that you made? Uh, not just new booktubers, but one of the most common mistakes even I made initially when I started out was to not spend enough time while editing the video. I feel like the more time you spend editing the video, the cleaner the video is and the more the quality increases. A well edited video will naturally be more well received by the viewers as opposed to one that is not as well edited. This is something I still practice because even till today, I feel like not all of my videos are perfectly edited. So I could definitely use a lot more practice and improve my editing skills. Another mistake would be to not focus enough on the planning or conceptualization of the video. Um, in the beginning itself, if you know what your video is going to be about 
what you're going to set as the title, what you're going to put in the thumbnail. If you have a few bullet points that will help you be more coherent while filming the video. I think all of this makes your video more strong and it will have more of an impact as opposed to a video that is not planned and it's shabby because there's no real direction that the video is taking. Sixth, what are your thoughts on working with publishers and sponsorships? I think it's really fulfilling. It is an achievement and you really feel accomplished. I've been working with publishers for a few years. It definitely feels good to know that your video is reaching out to a lot of people and that it's having its intended effect. So when someone approaches you for sponsorships, I think it's a sign that you're doing really great work. Although sponsorships can also be a controversial topic on booktube. People may think that you're a sellout or that you're fake but what they don't realize is that you are spending a lot of time and effort in planning videos, filming it, editing it, marketing it. So that's a lot of work you are doing as one person and you definitely deserve to be uh, compensated. You definitely deserve professional recognition. So I don't think that anyone who is working with publishers or has a lot of sponsored videos on their channel is being fake. After all, you need money for your livelihood. So, Seventh, do you think booktube is dying? Of course not. I think booktube has just about scratched the surface of the potential it has, of the potential to impact people with stories, of the potential to connect readers around the world and to convert more non-readers into becoming readers. More and more people are joining booktube every day and that's such a great thing because no two readers are the same so you can definitely benefit from watching following a lot of booktubers because you never know what will change your life suddenly earlier even around the time when i had joined booktube there were very few indian booktubers but nowadays there are so many and i'm so happy because of that i'm happy that every day there's more and more representation of different identities on booktube eight tag your friends all of you are my friends so if you want to film this tag then go ahead and consider yourself tagged but specifically, I'm going to tag Sonali from the Melodramatic Bookworm, Divya from Celebrity Reads Hush, Heli, Sankalpita from Book Geeks India, and Manpreet from Indian Booktuber. So that was my Booktube Real Talk tag. Wow, that's awesome. Let me know if something I said resonated with you or you think differently. Anyhow, I hope you guys have been doing well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon with another video. Bye!